Hello everyone. So we're going to be doing the month in review for Core 2. This is the month of June. As you know, we did one in May and everyone seemed to like it. So I will said I would go ahead and do one as we go forward. So I see our object here, which I thought that this was Mercury, but I know Mercury is coming in now, so who knows. I am going to stick with the fact that I think that that's Mercury. Could be wrong, but we will see. So, um, you notice an anomaly up here, right? And here is we're saying is Mercury. And I did have it up on solar scope. So, as we continue to watch here, I want you to watch this one over here. This uh, CME that got ejected out, watch what it does. It really takes on some unique characteristics. For instance, Look at here. You can actually see the ejecta as it's coming off of the surface of the sun, but it forms within itself. Now, I don't know, you know, if that's just the plasma that could be forming a dense pocket as it's streaming out into space at however millions of miles or kilometers per second, who knows, right? But it really takes on some interesting characteristics. And enough for the camera to clearly uh, catch it as well. Look at it as it goes out. Amazing, isn't it? This is on the fourth. So you can really see. Now, here is this... I don't know if you want to call this the objects. You know, we had examined this last month, and I found it again in just this one frame. It's there, and then, as you can see, there is on June 6th, and then the next frame <coughs> is June 7th. So, not sure, and you can still see as our planet makes it across. Now, I found this to be of interest because there have been some videos in the past made on this, um, and again, you could take a look at this. It almost looks like there's an arm. Hmm. Maybe Mount Olympus, right? But as you can see, there's about a day that this took place. Now, I said, well, okay, it could be, and obviously it is, an, uh, um, an aberration of the camera. Or is it? I don't know. <laughs> um when you get to see these. Now, here's what I find very interesting. If that object is Mercury, then Mercury really is much bigger because this is the core of the sun. You can see it right here. I don't know what that is, but it's definitely something. And we'll take a look at this again. There's the object right there, right? So take a look at that. Right? Don't know. But 
in the pictures that I have seen of Mercury, it's not that bright, nor is it that big. But again, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll take a look here at Solar Scope here in a second. Um, it just has some beautiful, beautiful artifacting taking place here. It's this fantastic. And look at the, uh, the CME. It's being ejected out towards it. And we're going to look at some Sechi footage um, as well. And I think you're going to find uh, some interesting, um, well, pictures. Let's put it that way. And then again, as it goes out, look at that. Now, I caught this one. Happened to be on my birthday. Uh, quite beautiful. It was, as you can see, I have no idea what that is, but it's, when I saw that, I thought of um, the Phoenix or the, uh, the Thunderbird, right? And it's, it's big. <laughs> and if it is, in fact, the camera catching something as it's going by the sun, or whatever, it's definitely very large. And then, as you can see, in one day, it's no longer there. And as our friend exit stage left, we're getting near the end of the month. All right, so that's the last frame they had, by the way, on the 21st. We have uh, the cosmic ray graph, and I will leave links to all of this. Um, this is the one that I look at, and what I see here, this is not good. And there were several days in June where the um, the Earth's magnetic KP index went to zero. And when it goes to zero, that's when all of us are really being dosed with cosmic radiation. And that's the problem when we have this solar minimum. And it's going to get worse. I just feel really bad for the people that are flying because they are literally getting uh, cooked. All right, I said we'd look at some Sechi. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is June, and this is Jupiter, the best I could tell. And I did look up on this, and we will look at solar scope at both of those um, objects. But here's the interesting thing about Jupiter. For the entire month, it never moves. Now, I understand about orbits, but I'll just let it play through. And as you can see, it stays stationary. And you can see the days down there. Don't know. I just find it really odd that a planet, no matter what the orbit is, right, uh, would still virtually not move. All right, got a little bit more. I really like this one. When we get to really see the core of our galaxy go by, that's pretty cool. Here's another look. You can check that out. Let me just stop that right there. I just think that that is just, it gives you, for me, it just puts me in awe when I look and realize that that light is just billions of potential planet stars. Quite beautiful, isn't it? 
as it passes us by. And then we'll get the colored version now of the one that we saw in the positive and negative um, ions. Check this out. Just shows you how dense the star field is. And there's Jupiter just sitting there day after day going nowhere you know the solar system is still a mystery to us in many many ways okay that's pretty cool and I said that we would go to uh, solar systems and here it is so Cameras are out here, kind of give you the view, and you can see. It's just odd that Jupiter just did not move at all, right? I don't know, go figure. Um, and let's see, you saw that map earlier. I will leave you the links on this, and this will tell you as well how you can read this. So you can become an expert as well. I uh, thought I'd show you very quickly the Geiger counter map of the United States. <clears throat> Choose your part of the country. I will leave links below. And the last one is the fireball report. So this is uh, quite interesting. It goes from April, uh, 1988, right, up to July 13th of 2017. I found this a fascinating map. It goes to show you though that no place seems to be immune uh, from being hit. But if you will look, Russia, we all remember this one right there. February 15, 2013. I mean, if that had been over a metropolitan area, it would have been huge. And it's a great map because you can go in, you can exactly see when these have hit. And good, good reference. All right, folks. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. And we'll wait for, see what the month of July holds for us. All right. Be kind to one another.